I just mentioned, it's been been a while since you've been in the in the theatres now. How are you guys feeling about everyone seeing this film? Well, I, I think people are going to have a really good time because it's the perfect film for a cinema. It's full of spectacle, adventure, colour, music, lots of bickering and swearing and unpleasantness. So I think we'll have a good time. <laughs> Peter, how are you feeling about it? And there's a, a huge cast of people that you both worked with. Do you, how did it come together? Was there, you know, specific roles? Did you work with James and you're like, okay, we know who's going to play what? Did you look at Peter and go, okay, he needs to play that role? We basically built it around Peter Capaldi. Yeah. Once we had him, we knew that the rest was going to come together because he is the anchor tenant of the film. Quite clearly, you can see that none of the other members of the council are available. <laughs> trapped in other countries, which is why I get this premiere all to myself. Um, Peter, how was it working with um, your fellow Brit, Idris Elba? He's another New Squad member. Yeah, no, it was great to work with him. It was so exciting to hear a real Cockney accent, <laughs> you know, out there in Atlanta. Uh, but he was just one of. Uh, numerous friendly faces, the, the entire cast and crew, I have to say, were a really welcoming and, and, and warm group of people to work with. I think they were all terrific. No spoilers, but what was your favourite moment? Um, you know, there's a, there's a, you've probably seen it because it's in the trailer, there's a, there's a scene of us all walking in the rain. Uh, it actually took about three days to film this, and uh, unlike in the UK when the rain machines we have usually are, you know, like a hose from a garden center, just off camera, or if you're lucky, you get the, the fire department. This seemed to be a, a welded maze of pipes suspended from uh, cranes, which when they turned the rain on, I looked up and it was some seconds before it hit us. But this entire cast of all these big stars were absolutely soaked to the skin for three days. And there was not one complaint there was nothing but jokes uh, and an easygoing atmosphere among them all, and that was really impressive. I, I know exactly what scene you're talking about. The rain does come down quite heavy in that scene. Um, like I said, no spoilers. I keep warning everyone, and I'm the one that's talking. Um, Peter, you so you filmed in Panama and also in Atlanta, and um, to kind of create the fictional Corto Martinez area. For you, what was like the most? Because there's, a, I felt watching it, there's a lot of scenic moments. What was one scene that kind of stands out to you? I think in the third act, which we shot almost exclusively in Panama, in this uh, beautifully decrepit city called uh, uh, Cologne. And uh, to be shooting there with Margo and Idris, David, Kingerman, and Cena, just in that environment with giant action, explosions going on, stunts, it was just really exciting to be there. I feel like you kind of up to level since, you know, the last film in 2016, you kind of came in and said, right, I'm going to go big. Well, really what we said is, let's see the Suicide Squad do the vision of James Gunn. Yeah. And so this is 100% the unfiltered vision of James Gunn. So for better or for worse, that's what it is. Okay. Guys, we are so excited for you to see this film. I wanted to ask both of you, what would you like the audience to take away from watching it tonight? Um, I just want you to have a good time and to be safe. That's the main thing. But enjoy being back in the in the cinema. It's a fabulous place to be. And tell your friends. <laughs> yeah, I just want them to enjoy the experience. I think that, that James is creating a film that's unlike any film in the real world or any film ever. <laughs> and it's an incredible experience. Fuck luck for it. And uh, don't get too attached to any of the characters. So a lot of them are going to die. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Thank you very much. Please a round of applause for Peter. <laughs>